All right, we're introducing a brand new all metal kit from the nice folks at the Metal Earth Company called, wait for it, the Mandalorian. Boy, is this ever a good kit. And if you like Star Wars, then you'll love this kit. All right, as with all the Metal Earth kits, they come packaged as flat sheets of metal in a cardboard box. Well, envelope, really, not a box. And it tells you all kinds of information on the individuals. These kits are not for children. They recommend 14 and older. It does come with a complete parts registry, so you can find the stuff, and you do want to keep track. And there's tons and tons and tons of directions, and you got to follow the directions. There's very few words on these directions, but when there are any words, make sure to follow them, because they're really important. It's just a bunch of pictures. And here's the packaging and the parts laid out, ready to go. You will need a bunch of tools. None of them are expensive, but you're going to be making 3D items out of flat sheets of metal. So anything around. Now, you don't use any glue with these kits. You, it's a slot and pin affair. You either twist them over or push them over. And never, ever, ever break any of the parts off the backing. Make sure to cut them with a sharp set of nippers. And here you are making 3D items out of flat metal. So much fun. Moving right along, the way you put these kits together is basically make a part, hook it on, move to the next, make another part, add the extras, lots of extras in these kits. Now you do have to be very careful to follow the directions specifically because you can get them mixed up. Along with that, you got to make sure to keep track of where you are. Not only where you are in the directions, but which parts you've already used. Now, sometimes you have to make the slots a little bit wider. Sometimes they just don't fit very good. And then, of course, you just build one piece upon the next upon the next. Now, here you go. You got the torso going together. You do want to be very careful following the directions as they tell you and in the order they tell you. So here comes some more of the chest. And, of course, you got the armor. There's all kinds of extra little bits that go on these kits. Make sure to follow when you're supposed to put them on. There's his ammunition belt. Oh, and we've got to finish building the back. So that's the back of Mandy coming together. The hardest part for me anyway is making the helmets. And they come as a flat item that you have to make very round. I find the end of my broom handle does the job just fine. Of course, it's about time to put the head on. Now, as I said a minute ago, the helmet's really hard, but it's not all that hard. Now we're starting to work on the arms. Now the arms are really fun because there's so much detail. Look at all the detail on these parts. How do they get all that detail in there anyway? Now I always think the hands are going to look funny because they're kind of flat, but they end up looking just fine. Now make sure that you put the arms on just exactly as they're supposed to or else your finished model is not going to look correct. And the armory, boy. They always look funny when they're flat. And then when you make them into something, they're very cool. And here goes the other arm. Once again, make sure to get it in the right place. Of course, we've got lots of extras like the shoulder pad armor. And here's an almost finished Mandy. Not quite done yet, but he's starting to look like something. Okay, it's time to add the other stuff. We've got the addition to his ammunition belt. Oh, don't forget the cape with the rifle on it ready to go there it goes on on his back make sure it's in the right place now there are some times that I use a little tape to hold things together before I'm finished well there you have it what an amazingly fun kit this was and boy it always amazes me how you can take these flat pieces of metal with the parts on them and make them into these cool 3D kits. I had a lot of fun with this one. The other ones are all fun too, but this one was really fun. And there you have it. We're all done just like that. And if you love Star Wars, then you must get this and the entire set. They are just, well, they're well worth the time and effort. And do you want more than Mandy? We have more for you. We have the whole set here. From IG-11 to the child to the Razor Crest to Boba. Have fun!